So in this video, we are going to learn how to send telegram messages for new task in Asana project. Now suppose guys, you are using Asana to manage all of your projects and tasks with your team members and you use telegram to communicate with your team members on a group or on a channel. Now you want that whenever a new task is created in Asana, automatically the details of that newly created task should be shared on your telegram channel as a message. So let me tell you this can be done with automation and Pavli Connect. Now, if you want to know how you can automate this process of sharing new tasks from Asana to Telegram, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Pavli Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Pavli Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Asana to Telegram and then just click on create. Now you can see that a workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. Now the idea here is, first, we have to connect our Asana account with Pavli Connect so that every time a new task is created in Asana, automatically the details of that new task will be received inside our Pavli Connect workflow. And after that, using Pavli Connect, we are going to send those new task details on our Telegram group. So let's see how it is done. Now here in trigger window, in choose app, search for Asana. Just select it. And then in trigger event from the drop down, select new task in project as the trigger event. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Asana account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, we just have to click on this connect with Asana button. And because we have already logged in in our Asana account in our browser, Pavli Connect will detect the same account and make the connection. After making this connection, the only thing it asks us is the project that in our Asana account, in which particular project we want to get the new task from. So in my Asana account, here you can see that I have created several projects over here. And in Pavli Connect, in this dropdown, you can see a list of all the same projects. Out of all of this, in this video, we are going to use a project named as Video Production. I want to get new tasks from this particular project. So from this dropdown in Pavli Connect, we are going to select that project over here. After selecting the project, guys, what we have to do, we just have to click on save and send test request. And when we click on save and send test request, here you can see that it will change to waiting for response. This means Pavli Connect is waiting to get some new task details, new task data in our workflow from Asana. So let's create a new task in Asana. We'll go to Asana and then here let's create a new task. For example, I click on add task and give the task name as, for example, telegram integration. Telegram integration. So here guys, just now we have created a new task in Asana named as Telegram integration. We have just entered the name and we haven't entered any kind of details in this task. But here in Pavli Connect, you can see that we have received this response. And in this response, you can see the task ID of the same task. You can see the status. And then when we will scroll down, you can see the name of the project in which this task is created and some other details over here. But guys, here you will notice that we have just entered the name of the task. We haven't entered any details other than the name in this task and Pavli Connect has captured the response. So Asana will actually immediately send the details of a newly created task to Pavli Connect as we enter the name. And after that, we have to basically retrieve the details of the task after some time. Now what we are going to do in this automation after capturing this trigger response of a new task, we are going to add some delay. And then in that delay, let's take an example, if we add a delay of five minutes, it approximately takes five minutes of time to enter the details of a new task. You can change this delay time according to your choice. We are going to add a delay of five minutes and after five minutes of delay in this automation workflow in the next step, we are going to retrieve the details of this task which we have created using this task ID. So let's see how it is done. But first, let's enter some details in this task. Let's select a due date as 21st of April then add a description that, for example, we are just testing this automation. So just now, guys, we have added these details in this task. After this, we'll get back to Pavli Connect. And as we discussed, we are going to add some delay first. So we'll just scroll down. 
come to our action window and here in choose app select delay over here after selecting delay by pavli the first thing it asks is how much delay you want to put in workflow so from this drop down we are going to select delay 4 because we have to add the delay for 5 minutes so we are going to select delay 4 in delay unit we are going to select minutes and in value for 5 we are going to enter 5 and click on save and send test request so just now we have added a delay for 5 minutes in this automation workflow so every time in this automation a new task will be created in asana immediately as we enter the task name public connect is going to capture the details of the task like task id project and other details then after that public connect will delay this task delay this workflow it will wait for 5 minutes and after 5 minutes we have to retrieve the details of this newly created task for that just click on this add action step button and here in choose app search for asana and select it once again after selecting asana this time in action event from the drop down we have to select the action event as get a task so we will just scroll down and we have this action event get a task just select it click on connect and select existing connection because we have connected our asana account in the trigger window we don't have to make another connection we can select the existing connection and click on save over here after clicking on save here it is asking us task id now here in task id guys we have to basically enter the task id who's the of the task whose details we want to retrieve so in this trigger response the first response which we have received is of task id and we are going to map this response of task id over here just click here and from the drop down here you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from asana from all the previous step basically we have the response from delay as well and from asana too and from this responses select this response of task id and map it and after mapping it just click on save and send test request now when we click on save and send test request here you can see that we have received some response and in this response you will see all the details of this task we will scroll down here you can see the due date of the task 21st of april which we have entered we will scroll down you can see the name of the project then you can see the name of the task here you can see the description of the task and the other details too so in this way we have successfully retrieved the details of a new task which we have created in asana so the step 1 of setting up this automation is completed now let's move to step 2 and in step 2 we want to send a message on our telegram group whenever a new task is created now to send a message just click on this add action step button once again and then here in choose app search for telegram select telegram bot over here after selecting telegram bot in action event from the drop down select the action event as send a text message or a reply markdown click on connect and then select add new connection now here guys what we have to do we have to basically create a bot in our telegram account and after creating that bot we have to add that bot into the telegram group or telegram channel on which we want to send the message and we have to make that bot the admin of that telegram group or channel as well after doing this we have to connect that telegram bot with pavli connect so here guys before doing that we have to create a bot in our telegram account and add that bot into the telegram group so let's begin with now to create the bot just go to your telegram account here i have opened my telegram account in the telegram web after that here you have to search for bot father just search for bot father look for this one with the official tick just select it and then here after opening the bot father chat we have to enter slash new bot after entering slash new bot it is asking us to give this bot a name for example i would like to name my bot as pavli asana this is the name of the bot which i want to give 121 and then after naming it we also have to enter a bot username a unique username and in that username we have to enter underscore bot over here so i will be using the same name as the bot name as the username and i will enter underscore bot over here with that and then just send it and after this you can see that using bot father just now we have created a new bot in our telegram account now after creating this bot guys here you can see that in this message you can see the token the bot access token api token of this bot just copy this api token from here then go back to public connect and paste it over here after pasting this api token just click on save so in this way we have successfully created a new bot in our telegram account and connected that bot with public connect and using this bot we can send messages on our telegram group or channel now after creating this bot as i told you we have to add this bot in our telegram group or channel and make this bot the admin for that let me create a new group over here i'll just create a new group i'll just search for the same bot over here whose name we have entered that is pavli asana bot 
uh, the asana one to one. So I'm creating a new group and adding that bot over here. You can actually add the same bot into your existing group as well. And then this is it. A new bot has been created. Let me enter the name of this group, for example, Pabli Integration. This is the name of this group. Okay, so just now, basically what we have done, we have added a new bot into this particular Telegram group. I have created a new group, but if you want, you can add the bot into the existing group as well. After this, using the Telegram's mobile application or desktop application, what you have to do, you have to promote this bot as the admin of this Telegram group. So I'm going to use the Telegram mobile application and I'm going to add this bot, promote this bot as an admin. And this is it. I have successfully created this bot, which we have added just now as the admin, the same bot who, to whom we have connected with Pavli Connect. After this, after connecting this, now using this bot, we can send messages on this Telegram group. Now, after this, what we have to do here, after we will get back to Pavli Connect. And the first thing it asks us is the chat ID. That in our Telegram account, what is the chat ID of the group or the channel on whom we want to send the message? Now, to get the chat ID, we just have to open this Telegram group. And here in this URL section, you will see, guys, here in this URL section, we have after hash minus and this number. This is the Telegram chat ID, chat ID of this particular group. Just copy it from here and then paste it over here. After pasting the chat ID, it is asking us text message that what is the message which we want to send. So I want my message to be hello team. Okay, so this is the message. Hello team, a new task is created in Asana. Task name, due date and description. And here in this message, I want to mention the same details of a new task which we have received from Asana in step 3. So here guys, for after retrieving the details, we have received the name of the task, the description of the task, and also the due date of the task which we have added while creating this task in Asana. Now here guys, one by one, we have to map these details over here in this message in their in front of their respective fields. The message says, hello team, a new task is created in Asana. Now in front of task name, we have to map the name of the task. So from the drop down, from Asana get a task action step responses, we are going to select the response of the name of the task, here it is, and map it. And after that, let's map the due date. So from this drop down, we have this response of due date of this task. Okay, it's not from trigger window. Here it is. This is the due date and map it. And then let's map the description as well. So we have also received the description and map it too. So in this way, we are going to send this message on our Telegram group whenever a new task is created in Asana. And then in this message, we are going to mention the task name, due date and description. Then it is asking us disable notification and then disable link preview. So both of these fields are not optional fields. They are not required fields. So you can select the option according to your choice or ignore these fields as well. And then just click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the message which we have created has been sent on this Telegram group whose chat ID we have entered. So let's check the Telegram group. We'll go to Telegram. And yes, guys, here you can see that on the same Telegram group, we have received a message shared by the same bot which we have created and added. The message says, hello team, a new task is created in Asana. Task name, Telegram integration. This is the due date and this is the description. So we have the same details of the task which we have created in our Asana account as a send as a message on our Telegram group. So here guys, you can see that the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. And using this automation, whenever a new task will be created in our Asana account, automatically the details of the task will be shared as a new message on our Telegram group. Now after setting up this automation, let's test this automation workflow once. We will go to Asana and we'll create a new task over here. I'll give a task name as real time test. So as we give this task name, the workflow is trigger and within five minutes, it will capture the details of this task. So let me enter some details. For example, the due date is 25th of April and the description is we are testing this automation in real time. And then here it is. So just now we have added these details of this task over here in Asana. And we will see within five minutes, a new message will be shared on our Telegram group. So let's wait for five minutes over here.
And yes, within five minutes, you can see that the same task which we have created just now in Asana is received as a message. Hello team, a new task is created in Asana. Task name, real time test. Same task name which we have given to the task in Asana. We have the same date, 25th of February. Here in Asana, we, can, we have selected the same date over here as the due date, that is Tuesday. And then after that, here you will see, we have the same description. We are testing this automation in real time. So here guys, you can see that we have tested this automation and it is working perfectly fine. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pavli Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this exact same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone this exact same automation workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.